so I was just chilling on a normal Friday evening, watching my favorite YouTuber, when suddenly I got this comment saying, Please teach us how you made that animation for the text at the beginning. And honestly, being a very good guy, I couldn't ignore the comment. So thanks QB underscore ET for the content. By the way, somewhere in the video, I will give you guys a drag and drop preset of this animation for completely free. So don't skip and stick till the end. Drag down a text plus layer from effects menu. Then right click on the text plus layer and open Infusion. Select the text plus node and in the inspector tab, customize the text as you like. Now make sure you are at frame zero and add a keyframe to size. Then go to frame 135 and add another keyframe. Go to the previous keyframe and set the size value to somewhere around 0.0664. Then go to the next keyframe and change size value to around 0.102. Now go to frame 50 and add a keyframe for tracking. Move your playhead to the last frame of your clip and add another keyframe for tracking. Go to the previous keyframe and set the tracking value to 1.2. Now go to the last keyframe and change the tracking value to 1.25. Then select your text plus node and hit shift plus spacebar. This will open the effects menu. Search Gaussian blur. Select and click add. Now while the Gaussian blur node is selected, Move your playhead to frame zero and add a keyframe to strength. Then go to frame 75 and add another keyframe to strength and change its value to zero. Again, go to frame 100 and add another keyframe. Then move to the last frame and change the strength value back to zero. Now for the last animation, select your text node and go to the shading tab. Make sure you're at frame zero and add a keyframe to opacity. Then move your playhead to frame 35 and add another keyframe. Go to the previous keyframe and set opacity value to zero. And finally move your playhead to frame 125, add a keyframe. Then go to the last keyframe and set opacity value to zero. And finally, after a million keyframes, the animation is done. Congratulations. This is how it looks like. Yeah, I lied. The preset was neither in the middle of the video nor in the description, but it was in the end. And the irony is it's not even in the end, but it's inside your DaVinci Resolve. Ha 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 ha. And to find it, go to the effects menu in the title section. Look for fade in. And here it is. If anyone's still watching, thanks for watching till the end, buddy. And comment LOL if you see this. Everybody, 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 everybody